This is a short video on how to use the include command in LaTeX in case you're writing some kind of long-form LaTeX document like a book or a, a long report. I don't know who would write a math book that wouldn't eventually figure out how to use the include command themselves, but I'm sort of slow and it took me a couple hours to figure out how to use it, so I thought I would make a short video about it and maybe the video would uh, benefit some people. So I assume you already know what LaTeX is, uh, Math Typesetting Markup Language. Uh, this is a basic LaTeX document. The document class is book, and in this book we are going to have some chapters. And uh, so the idea of the include command is to be able to have a modular document in the sense that you can compile these chapters separately and uh, independently so that you can work on your book chapter by chapter and not have to wait for the whole thing to compile and look through some enormous PDF output every time you compile the document. And basically what the include commands do is take the information that's con contained in these files, these are separate files, chapter 1 and chapter 2, and sort of paste them right there, sort of the way the include command works in C or C++ if you're familiar with that analogy. Let's look at these two documents. So here is uh, chapter1.tech, and it just has some nonsense in it. Uh, you can see that when I compile the PDF that comes out right here, it just says hosta la pasta. Um, there's nothing in here. Notice that there's no preamble, right? It's just, it's just the commands, because this is literally going to get pasted into the main document. Uh, this is the other chapter. It's, it's just more silly nonsense for computing when lunchtime should be. And uh, notice again that there's no preamble, there's no ending statement, nothing like that, because it literally gets pasted into the main document. And here is the main document itself. This is just some boilerplate header information that uh, TechMaker, which is the IDE that I'm using, generated. And you can see that all I'm doing here is uh, I'm just including those two files, but there is one thing that sort of tripped me up. Notice that it's chapter one. It's not chapter one.tech. The file is, I don't, I, I'm sure you can't see that, but this is chapter one.tex, whereas right here I just write chapter one with no .tex uh, suffix. All right. Um, and so this is the result of, of compiling that document. It, it says there at the end, so that's that's the end. You can see that it's inserting some page breaks, but otherwise it's it's not really altering the information in these files that are included. Uh, the only thing that's in the master document and not in the sub documents is this ch uh, section heading and this this final stupid word. Um, and okay, so. What if you want to just compile chapter one and not wait to compile chapter two? That's supposed to be the whole point. And the secret to doing that is the include only command, which right now I, I have commented out. So it's compiling both chapters at the moment. But if I uncomment this, uh, then this tells the compiler that I only want to include chapter one. So chapter two will not be included. The document otherwise will compile the way it normally does. So let's see the, the effect here. You can probably guess. Um, so here this is using the include command, using the include command in the output. Um, wait, I'm, something's wrong. Oh, it's just point two. Sorry, I was misreading this. So here is uh, chapter one, which is the first chapter, and there's hasta la pasta. There is no, uh, there is no second chapter. So I've sort of succeeded in the main goal, which was independently compiling the chapters. So that's how you do it. And of course, you can change this to be chapter two if you want, or some list of chapters if you just want to compile certain chapters. Um, so. That's the whole story, but maybe you don't use TechMaker, and so I thought I would do it again from the command line. Um, so this is the file that all my, uh, this is the folder or file, or what is the Linux term supposed to be? Directory, where all my files are. And if I want to do with the command line what I just did with TechMaker, of course you just do PDF, LaTeX, uh, main.tech, and then look at the resulting output events. Oh yeah, sorry, main.pdf, and there it is. And this is the compiled version of main.tech, and you know you can edit it with your with your favorite text editor. 
other than TechMaker. That's it. That's the whole deal.